Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tahino's Lego Robotics. Today I have a really cool attachment for your EV3 robot. I call it the hammer, and this thing is supposed to smash stuff. So if you want to see it smash stuff, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Before we get to the video, I have a question to ask you guys. You know, if you guys check out the end of my video where the outro and I have people going, he's out or we got this, I, I've had that same outro for a long time and I'd like to change it up. So if you guys could help me out, and just record yourself saying he's out, we got this, or some other cool saying that's encouraging to people, I'd love for you guys to send that to me. So what you would do is just take five seconds, that's all it takes, just video record yourself saying he's out, we got this, some other cool saying for robotics to just encourage people and just to help them keep going, and then you send it, that little video clip, to me at Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com and I'm going to start to put together a new outro and I want you in my outro. So again, Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. Just send me that clip and I promise you, I mean, if it's appropriate and good, I'll put it into the outro and I just want to be able to get a new outro just because I've used the same one for so long. So I love to get your help. Try to get that to me if you can, okay? All right, back to the video. Okay, so not only is this thing cool for smashing things, but for those of you that do first Lego League, it's really cool for emissions like, if you remember Into Orbit, the escape velocity, check this out. And it's not only for competitions. Um, in the classroom, I would do a, that's really not a competition, but a project called the Space Challenge. And in the Space Challenge, there were different missions, and there was one called Initiate the Launch, where you had to hit something really hard to shoot a rocket to open up this Mars rover. Check this out. So there are times where a first Lego League robot or just an EV3 robot, you want to be able to, you know, hammer something really hard in order for something to happen. So this is a really cool attachment. I don't know if you can see all the coolness of it. I'll show you guys this attachment in a second. Um, but I, go, I went ahead and gave you guys the building instructions if you check the description. Um, there were some modifications because they initially had these rubber wheels on it. And I'm thinking, okay, I don't want anything to absorb the energy. I want things to just, you know, hit things as hard as they can. So this video is going to be all about trying to break things. So I have pencils, I have popsicle sticks, I even have ice sticks. I bought this cool little mold from Amazon in order to make ice sticks to break with this thing. So I'm going to try all of that. But let me go ahead and show you this attachment. Okay, so check this bad boy out. Um, again, I left you the instructions for this uh, attachment in the description. Um, it's meant for an educator robot. So if you have a different type robot, you're going to have to figure out how this will get attached. But this um, is the part where it attached um, to the educator robot. So I'll leave that up to you to figure out. And again, initially they had these rubber tires um, right here on the top. And I'm thinking, well, that's not gonna be very powerful. You know, it's gonna absorb a lot of energy instead of giving out the energy. So I swapped it out for this steel ball here because I wanted this, this thing to just hit whatever I'm gonna, you know, try to destroy. I wanted to hit it really hard. And these rubber tires just didn't seem like they were gonna do the trick. So, and those of you that might have a different robot, this was meant for an educator robot. So it gets attached right in here. So if you have a different type robot, that's going to be uh, something I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out how do you get this thing attached. Um, but what's really neat is this is kind of a two-way process here. I don't know if you guys can see this, 
This piece right here, well, when I press this medium motor, it will spin, come around, and basically push this, and then this joint right here will just fall over and hit this really hard. So let me show you that. So keep your eye out for this piece right here. And wow, that happened so fast, I couldn't even get over there. So if you can hear that sound, that's the sound of this thing coming crashing down. So like I said today, I want to practice or try to destroy things and crack this pencil in half. Um, I have some popsicle sticks and definitely some ice sticks. So it's going to be one of those experiment video guys where you can kind of decide for yourselves which um, item do you think I can break in half. So again, this is a really cool attachment. Um, definitely, I would use this for, you know, into orbit, the escape velocity. I would use this for the initiate the launch and the space challenge. In fact, this was specially designed for the initiate the launch. So for those of you that would be doing the space challenge, this attachment is exactly for that mission. But for today, our mission is to break things. So we're going to start off with this pencil and work our way to the popsicle stick. And then we'll finish with the iced sticks. So if you can see right here, I set up my, my little um, device here to hold things in. So I'll just put it in between there and have it quiver like, please don't hurt me. Please don't snap me in half. So we're going to start with this pencil. Go ahead and throw it down in the comment section. Do you think this thing's going to be able to snap this pencil in half? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, I have the robot all set up. I had to position it so this ball bearing would come right down onto the pencil. What did you guys think? You think it's going to be able to break it in half? Let's go ahead and find out. Ooh, you can see that that made quite a thud and pencil's still intact. So let's give this another shot. And again, check out this part right here. When the when the program runs, it's going to flip over and basically just topple over the attachment so this weighted part just falls over. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're definitely hitting this thing. It's just, I don't know. I was thinking, hmm. You know, if this ball bearing's not enough, I'm thinking maybe I need to go smaller on the surface area here. Uh, but you would think, you know, it's like a knuckle. If we tried to punch this thing, it could crack it in half. But let's keep trying on this thing. Whew. This thing is, uh, pencil is holding up. Wow, did I buy these super heavy duty pencils from Walmart? Okay, so let me go ahead and see if I can switch this out for a popsicle stick. Okay guys, so this is one tough pencil. Walmart pencils, man, tough to break. So I swapped out the pencil now for these, I think this is like a tongue depressor. This was actually, um, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're like craft sticks, but they're big. I was looking for popsicle sticks, but let's see if this thing can get snapped. So go ahead, put it in the comment section. Do you think this will break? So if you want to get a closer look. Hmm. What do you think? Okay, let's go to it. Gee, that thing just bounced off of it.
Okay, so this is a lot tougher than I thought. I mean, I think it might be just because it's so flexible. That's why I believe the ball bearing is just bouncing off of it. All right, guys, let's go to the ice sticks. Okay, so here are the ice sticks. This is a silicone mold, and you just pour water in and you get ice sticks. So let's go ahead and take it out. So it's like that, and then we're gonna put this where those other um, items were, and we'll see if the attachment can break this. Okay. Now it's already going. Success. stack very well. Okay, we have four blocks of ice. Yeah! It did it! Okay guys, so there you have it. I guess we need to change the name of this. Not that it really ever had a name, but this is definitely the icebreaker. So it was one of those things where, man, I really thought it was gonna go through the pencil. I mean, pencils break all the time. And it's just one of those things where I just thought this thing was, gonna, was just gonna annihilate the pencil. But man, that Walmart pencil held up and then the, you know, that definite, what do you call it? Craft stick, popsicle, giant popsicle stick. Man, the thing just bounced off it. So that popsicle stick is probably like, <laughs> nice try, Mr. Hino. But then those sticks of ice were just like, no. So this thing just demolished it. So, you know, for those of you, again, first Lego League, um, I don't think there's any type of mission this year with replay that you would need something like this, but maybe in the years to come. And definitely with Into Orbit, how we had the, uh, you know, initiate the launch. No, yeah, no, that was, um, that was escape velocity. That was a cool mission for those of you that did into orbit. It was just cool to see that rocket go up and, and then you get your points. It was initiate launch was the space challenge. And that's another one where it's a really cool mission. You hit that rocket down, the rocket hits the Mars rover and it opens up. That was a really cool mission. My students love that mission. It's just hard to get enough force to hit that thing with. So, but the, the icebreaker, whoo, man, this thing just comes down with some force. And again, I had this ball bearing here. I swapped it out for those rubber tires and it seemed like that was a good idea. So, all right, guys, hopefully you get a chance to build it. Again, it's just for a educator bot. If you have a different type robot, you're going to have to figure out how you're going to attach it here. So, okay, guys, hopefully you liked it. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys.
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.